Good morning. Safety talk for the week of October 28th, 2024. Topic road rage. Comes off the internet. And I'm going to give you highlights and obviously a copy will be sent to each of you. Roads this day and age are dangerous. Uh, an estimated 42,000 people died in motor accident crashes in 2020. Year after year, they're at the top of the list of workplace fatalities, number one. And so often, it's the behaviors, the contributing factors. There can be multitude of factors that contribute to it. One single unsafe act or unsafe condition can be enough to cause an accident and a lot of heartache. Oftentimes there are multiple unsafe acts and conditions that lead to a motor vehicle accident. One common unsafe act is taking part is road rage. I see it, I see it all the time. What is road rage? Everyone has heard of the term and most people have probably experienced some degree of it while driving. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration defines road rage as when a driver commits moving traffic offenses so as to endanger other persons or property. Wow, right in the head. As an assault with a motor vehicle, another dangerous weapon by operator or passenger, or one motor vehicle on the operator or passengers of another motor vehicle. It's defined differently from aggressive driving by making the point that road rage involves using a vehicle in a way that endanger other individuals on purpose. Some statistics, prevalent and incidents. Limited research, reliability, and reliable statistics on road rage due to the nature of what it is. One organization that has looked into road rage data is AAA, and most people have heard of that. Below is some what information on what's been published by the organization regarding aggressive driving and road rage. 1990 to 1996, road rage contributed to 218 deaths and 12,610 injuries. I can tell you it definitely, without a doubt, has far exceeded that in the world today. They found that between 2003 and 2007, over half of the crashes involved at least one driver who performed potentially aggressive action. Study found that nearly 80% of drivers expressed significant anger, aggression, or road rage behind the wheel at least once in the previous year. Think of that, that's alarming, it's mind-boggling to me. Some of the most aggressive behaviors, all right? Uh, tailgating, 51%. Yelling at another driver, 47%. Hawking to show annoyance or anger, 45%. It's off the boards. 45%, that's 91 million drivers. So let's talk prevention for a minute. In closing, maintain adequate following distance in the first place. Use turn signals. Allow others to merge. Be respectful. Use your high beams responsibly. Tap your horn if you must, but no long burst with occupying hand gestures. Be considerate in parking lots. Park in one space, not across multiple spaces. Be careful not to hit cars next to you, even their doors. If you find yourself getting angry or aggressive driver, do the following. Avoid eye contact with angry drivers. Don't respond with aggressive aggression towards the driver. If you feel you're at risk, drive to a public place. Use your horn to attract, remain in your locked vehicle. In summary, do not take part in road rage or aggressive driving. Do not let the actions of others on the road dictate your emotions. There are no winners when it comes to road rage. If another driver's angry, 
with you, follow the advice provided and don't let it escalate. My safety message for the week. Have a great week. Make good choices. Stay safe.